Hi everyone, my name is Maher. I'm from Vancouver, BC, and welcome to my YouTube channel. The purpose of my videos is to introduce you to tips that will help you in your job search by interviewing experts in the field. If you are a first-time viewer, please subscribe to the channel so that you get the notification every day I'm posting the videos. So let's start with today's interview. Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode with me. Today I have the privilege and honor to interview Claude Silver. Hi Claude, how are you doing? Great, nice to see you, thank you. Nice to see you. So Claude doesn't need any introduction, but I will tell about her for the, the viewers who do not know her, know her better. So she's an op emotional optimist, coach, manager, and mentor. She's the first chief heart officer at Weiner Media, and she is in charge of infusing the agency with empathy, and, that's, and that is her purpose. So Claude, tell us more about your career. What have you done to reach to Weiner Media? We know that you spoke about this, that you came first and then you left and then Gary brought you. But during that time, any struggles that you face and challenges that people can benefit from hearing your story? Yes, sure, of course. It's a, it's a long story. I think I've had about nine lives at this point. <laughs> I started in the world of digital uh, back in 1998. So it was the wild, wild west. No rules, no regulations, and we were all just trying to figure it out. Um, I don't know how I ended up in this world of digital and advertising because I didn't study it, but what I did know is I loved human behavior and uh, it seemed like marrying my love of human behavior with creating content was the right, the right choice for me back then. Um, in terms of any kind of struggles that I've had or challenges, I think that, you know, not um, really going into a field and not knowing what I was doing was uh, definitely a struggle because I was in that field with, other people who had been studying marketing or advertising for some time. So I had a lot to catch up to and a lot of self-learning I needed to do. I started as a project manager. And so that is something where you just get thrown into the fire and you figure it out as you go, which fortunately I could do because I do like to, I like to swim rather than think. Nice. You know, one of the things I've spoken about quite a bit is being dyslexic and uh, finding other ways to learn what might come easier to other people. And that's something that I've really kept inside for a very long time because, uh, you know, my own, I had my own emotional um, uh, thoughts about that. And I saw it as mu much more of a limiting behavior. But uh, now I see it as a strength. And so I, I hope others out there can find a way to see if they have dyslexia or ADD or uh, anything like that that holds them back that they can see that as a um, it's actually a strength and it, it's a superpower quite frankly that's so uh, yeah that's a lot of my you know kind of backstory of my career and then I met Gary and I started here in New York as a senior vice president and uh, a year into being here I was running the Unilever account and I just really had lost the love of advertising and so I told Gary that I was really good. I was done. I was cooked. I had had a wonderful career, really great career. And he said, okay, you know, what do you want to do? And I told him I really only wanted to work with people. And he said, I need you to stay here for 18 months. And I left uh, six, seven months after that. Wow. And then he brought me back, which is a real gift. And it is a gift for us all, I believe, as in, in the HR, because you're changing the conversation. You're bringing something different. And I feel that that's important for us as an HR person. I, I can speak personally. Every time you tweet or every time you write an article or something, it gives us something to think differently than just being very process-oriented or very, like, uh, procedure oriented. I feel that you are bringing something to the table and I want us to thank you about that. Thank you. I'm touched. I really appreciate that. Thank you thank so you. much. And uh, with that, uh, everyone knows more Claude and you can follow us for the next eight days because we're going to have a journey with Claude. Every day I'm going to ask her a question and I'm going to post them separately. So please follow us, like the videos, uh, subscribe to my channel and tune in tomorrow for another question with Claude.